I'm going to box this right here. You going to be a phantom or are you going to not be a phantom? Had to just pretty much hit the trigger when it hit my line. Kind of figured that's what it was going to do. Once it broke that that support there, that's what they were looking at. But you get out when it gets back in the box. Because if they're going to fake you, that you'll know it quick. Basically, we were talking about boxing this in, right? Right across here. And then I said if you're more of a conservative trader, you'd want to take out this swing. Well, they just barely took it out and right back in your box. This was your box here, but then you had another box here if you're more conservative. Yeah, swing over there on the left. And if this would have popped and held the box and then gone on up, it would have been fine. But if you take this trade, you got to get out if it goes back in the box. And and what I found is if they go back in the box, they're going to check the low. They're, they're going to check these phantom type trades because you need an A, B, C. Sometimes this can be an A, B, C right here so they can fake you. Okay. But the way to do that is just. Yeah, see, like the ES is getting a lower high again, like it still wants to roll over. But the thing is, once you get through the big run, you're going to get scalp, scalp, scalp. That's what usually happens. Like, like to give an example, uh, let's see, where did we do a... Yeah, here, here's, uh, let's see, was it here? I don't think that was it. I think it was gold. Yeah, here, here's an example on gold right here. See how this came down right on top of support right there? I had the line drawn. Well, if, if you took that right at the line, then you got a quick little scalp. If you box this in, like right around mid-band, like so, you got a scalp and then back in the box. And usually as a rule, if it doesn't just tag the box and then take off again, you want to look for a deeper trade. And then you draw your lines on your chart, your lightning threes down in here, and what does it do? It comes down and kisses it. And that trade was called. And that was a little monster. Yeah, that was a good one. And once you get one like that, you don't have to just keep taking them either.
don't have to. Let's go ahead and get this. She's staying underneath your 5350. That's a critical swing long short. I think that area, Gary, has two lines right there. As long as she's under that, I think you're scalping shorties. Yep. Practice it and sim. And just scalp it too. You know, when it's when it does that and they don't take out those lows, just each time you got 10 tick trades. Boom, boom, boom. Yep. Best way to trade it. And see, oil is actually starting to get higher lows and higher highs, so they're liable to. We'll see what they do, but you got a red mid band, so you're still looking for shorts for now, unless it breaks up and pulls back and kisses. Or if you take the breakout, you just got to, you know, put your stop at the bottom of the box. See, it looks like it's going to break out. That's a higher low again on uh, ES. Unless it gets a lower high here and rolls over. Looks like it is. Let's see. Now, if you shorted it, you know, really close to that line, you, you had literally three trades so far. But see, here's the other thing, too. You know, if you don't take an occasional break trade, see like this right here, you know, for instance, where it was just oscillating around that mid-band just like we teach? Could you have actually boxed that and gone long? Well, obviously in hindsight, but what if you didn't do that on ES just a little while ago? What if it would have done that? That's why you can actually use uh, Object Trader, box it in, take the trade. It does a phantom, short the phantom. I'll show that on Monday night. I've, I've showed that before, but you can actually take Object Trader and you could definitely do a quick 10 tick here and then you know this was pretty much the real trade because the mid band and everything was the, the right color yep well if you shorted gary's kiss and roll take a little coin the low of the day is 44.50 now i am breaking fresh lows of the day right there 717 that was off 222 this is the low of the day right here for now a little phantom trade setting up on uh, gold there's some uh, negative news on Florida COVID-19 record high deaths yeah it's uh, contributing to the sell-off here yeah this this little gal that we've got on uh, Channel 4 News actually caught it and she was doing a you know basically a, a session on it you know where she was uh, showing as she went through the whole thing you know she's like 25 years old and she was pretty sick looking wow really she said, she said it kicked her butt yeah i thought the young folks would, were, were a little stronger as far as that goes well there, there's actually evidently a um, part of this that's actually going after the young folks Hmm. A little bit more in the 25, 35 area. Here's your bottom on S. You can took the shorts. Kiss and roll off of Gary's line there. Come right to the bottom. Look to cover. Tighten your stops to 4750 if you're in it. This one guy in Oklahoma, he was in uh, intensive care for 99 days with it and just uh, came out of his coma just within the last couple of days, evidently and found out that his wife died while he was under, because she had it too. Oh, that's horrible. Wouldn't that stink? He was in a coma? Yeah, yeah, they had him in a medically induced coma. 
Wow. And you wake up and your wife's gone? Yep. Ah, it's horrible. Wonder what they're gonna do on schools this year. That's that's gonna be a weird thing, isn't it? Well, they're saying some places like New York City where they would only be in uh like two or three days a week and the rest would be homeschooled. And they're gonna try to put the desks like six feet apart. How you do that in a tiny schoolroom, I have no idea. That's true. There's your next target on uh, uh, ES. Anybody trade that just the way it was being called? You know, we, we believe in the nicely green turn off the machine, but if a person wanted to trade that, just have at it. That was a pretty good little trade. Ten handles. There is no bottom on YM. Jeez. It's a hundred it's a hundred ticks. That kiss and roll on Wyoming. It's dragging everybody down with her. See that? Here comes old uh, Nasdaq down to that six eighty swing. Let's see if she breaks that. Pound right for three or forty three. Look at that. Look at this sell-off. Dang. 15 handle drop. Look at that. Comes your crew down to the bottom, too. Look at that, 60. Yeah. Sorry, I just uh, stepped away just a second. Linda asked a question. John B. says, I hit my target, and I am done. Good for you. Cool, my ghoul. Is that taking that 680 up? Look at that. Every tick of fresh low. Yeah, it's like they want to really slap the daylights out of this thing, don't they? Mm-hmm. Yep. I'll Even oil. Play. See, I called that oil trade if you wanted it. Boom. Yeah, out of your box. That's what I was saying. Right at 60. A little short covering bounce down there. Trail your stops if you're in it. You gots to take them. You know what they're doing? They're probably thinking people aren't going to drive again for a while. Taking this oil down. Well, traffic's starting to pick up a little bit out here. People are starting to go back to work. So it used to be you go on the freeway and it was a ghost town. Mm -hmm. Now I'm starting to see traffic, you know, coming back a little bit. Not a lot, but a little bit. Wow, Wyoming. Jamie, Christmas. Put the kibosh. Next stop on Essie would be 34. In a line there from several days ago. There's no bottom yet, huh? Jeez, that was down 320. Well, Kashif, on your question, we don't like to do a 12 to 15 tick stop if we don't have to. I mean, if a trade doesn't go your way, 
you know, because we, we do some counter trend trades too, just like we called on that SE earlier. Remember where we took that little long trade, Charles called it? We both took it. But, you know, you got to be careful on those type of trades simply because they can they can slap you in the face. The best way to do is obviously the thrust retrace, thrust retrace. If that's heading down, you, you want to be, you know, more into the, you know, obviously the selling of it. There's 34 breaking it. Tighten your stops if you're short. 37 even, no loose. That's insane. Wow, look at this. Cell programs accelerating. NASDAQ's negative now. Coming to the low of the day. If you're short NASDAQ, cover, uh, look to cover some at 645. It's breaking it. That's insane. It's like they're no no bottom on this little pup. No bottom. Order oh, pending. Still dropping. Jeez. Nasdaq taking out the low of the day. That was the only one fighting the tape. Now she's low with everybody else. There's 30. Let's see if that holds. Yeah, gold actually dropped perfectly too. If you were trading it up there at uh, mid band, the beauty of trading the Viper. Order, order. Your NES canceled. from where we called it up there at that line, uh, you got a swing right across there that needs to hold. Right there at 35 and a quarter or so. Careful, Williams kind of kiboshed your short party. Going to cover at 30, I think. Said that was the next stop. Well, yeah, why me? Why me get all the way to 71? Couple levels to watch here. Thirty-six above there, thirty-nine. She's got to stay under forty for the short case. Use line uh, two. You're already out. Sometimes got to do that too, because you know when they. Otherwise, you'll give twenty-four ticks back to them. Right. Uh, let's see. It's it's uh, on on your uh, comment there, Mindy. You know the one thing about it that is tough sometimes. Obviously, just like this trade here, just to give an example, this could be one trade that a person shorted the line and just held it with a with a stop, or they could have gone ten ticks, ten ticks, and then I mean, but the thing is, if you just set it for ten ticks only. You know, then you'd get 10 ticks, 10 ticks, 10 ticks, and you'd miss this whole run. So the way to do that is actually just to, you know, basically go the 10 ticks, but then, you know, maybe turn on lightning as a, as a you know, out or something. Or let's say that it goes down, you get your 10 ticks, goes back above mid-band, you get out, get back in, goes back above mid-band, get out, get in again, goes back above mid-band, get out, short here if you wanted to. She may not be over though. She's still rolling. Yeah, she's still rolling. Yeah, yeah. I was saying as long as she's uh, there was a couple opportunities on there, right under thirty six. 
as long as she stays under 39.40, I think you're still trading the short side. Yeah, that swing to the left. Mm -hmm. yep. everybody, everybody sees that, right? You had a thrust down, retrace, thrust down. That's your swing that Charles is talking about. If they take that out, then they could easily head back up. But you don't want to just take a break of it because they'll barely break it, come to Phantom and roll over. So, you know, but you can take it if it does happen. And if you get a higher low along in here, this will be your new swing right there. It's not right. there yet. Right. If it takes out the low, obviously, that'll be your swing, too. I broke my rule when that was starting to head down like that. You know, we didn't do the other one. I just threw on four micros and it got 160 bucks. Yeah. It was just like, boom. Yeah. This is fun. I think it stung too bad with micros. No. No, but I'd, I'd already missed the trade that we called up there because I said I wasn't going to trade anymore, but that was too inviting when it started really dropping. All right, if you started that, uh, shorted that uh, mid-band kiss and roll there just under 36, take a little coin. There's the bottom, breaking it. Yep. Put your stop at line two. Yep, fresh lows on Wyoming. NASDAQ breaking its lows of the day. That was a good trade. I just want to take this pup down. Jack had that line drawn perfectly there. Yeah. That was right at the lows, down 375. 380, 383, still dropping. Get your stops now, 3250. Kiss and roll here at the mid-band one more time. You see some short covering at some point here. Another rollover with the lower high, you can always draw your line right there. Probably scalp if you're going to take it at all, just like that last move. Yeah. If you caught the big runs, do it in sim. It's good practice time. Okay, so here's what's happening. I used to work here. How many contracts you have on an average day? It really just depends. There's times where, you know, you just want to do like two, and there's times that you want to just load the boat, so to speak, you know, three or four even. But where you got to be careful with that, obviously, is if they um, go against you at all. You know, you gotta got to watch every trade. It definitely rolled over with a lower high. Now they're keeping the lid on 35, 36 right now, so you can be shorting those rollovers. Just be careful. That could be a higher low now. If you shorted that rollover, I'd stop it out because it's going back in the box. That candle rolls over, you're still okay. It didn't didn't go in the box totally. Just got to watch for the close bar. I'll be right back. All righty.
She's trying to find a higher low there. See that? Yeah, she's trying. If that 32 holds, that would be a higher low. She got to stand to that 36. Got this really cool app on my phone, Charles, now for that solar. It'll tell you exactly how much, uh, how many kilowatts you've used daily, how much solar it produces, how the batteries are charged, a whole nine yards. That's pretty awesome. Yeah. Yeah. Is that on your 20, iPhone? Yeah. Those 20 panels, see, they've only got 20 hooked up so far because they ran out of these connectors, so they're coming back today. And I'll have a total of 36 hooked up. But yesterday it kept up with it just right at half the load with 20 panels. Wow. Half the load of your whole house? Yeah. Now, of course, it only does it like from, you know, early hours to, you know, like around 4.30 in the afternoon, it starts losing solar pretty good because the sun's, you know, starting to lower in the sky and everything. Mm-hmm. You, you can actually watch the production as it starts heading down as you get into the evening. But when that sun's going out there, it really it really cranks. Anybody take that trade that was just called on that rollover on ES? If you did, you got yep. a little bit. Mm -hmm. Go ahead and dip until. See what I was mentioning about uh, oil? Went up to that phantom that I talked about. you'll see some of the trades we didn't even call because we're, you know, we're trading our own too. So we're watching whatever charts we're trading. Like if I'm trading ES and, and gold, I'm pretty much calling on those. Uh, today I didn't call as much on crude oil except at first the open that we called. And then after that, it was pretty much that trade that was just called. And this trade was called, but again, I didn't like the mid band like that. But you could have taken it once it did this and came back and basically boxed it in like that. And some of our people took that. That was like 60, 76 when it broke. But anyway, nicely green. I say we turn them off and head to the house. Mm -hmm. Sounds good. All right, everybody. We will do it again tomorrow. Thanks, everybody, yep. for coming. And uh, Charles does have a webinar tonight. So be sure and come to that and learn how to just do it one and done or two and done. You might even change that to, you know, just a couple and done, Charles, because that's pretty much what we look for. Mm-hmm. Yep. Five o'clock Pacific time should be a good one. I'll send out reminder links here shortly. All right. Sounds good, everyone. Have a good one, and we will do it again tomorrow. And, of course, his webinars tonight. Stay green. Don't overtrade. See you tonight. Adios. Bye now. Oh, and real quick, I may be uh, out of pocket a little bit today because it's a uh, lawn day we take care of our lawn but i'll be back in and out obviously so if anybody needs anything holler right away or wait till probably about three o'clock sounds good all right bye everyone thanks adios